we were talking of the disadvantages of the public distribution system. Lot of corruption has been seen in the public distribution system wherein they are following many malpractices. Also due to the effects of the targeted development targeted programs which have been initiated we see that the targeted distribution public system has led to three ration cards that is different strata of the society are given ration card on the basis as to what they belong to and the people who actually are placed above the poverty line get the food grains at a high price which is almost similar to that available in the market. Therefore, the public distribution system stands here as a failure. Well, we will be talking about the role of cooperatives in the food security in India. As far as the cooperatives are concerned, they are playing a wide and a big role in the south and the western part of India. These societies or these cooperatives open up shops to provide to the poorer section of the society low priced goods. If I talk of in Delhi, then the cooperative example is that of mother dairy wherein the people get milk and vegetables and fruits at a competitive price and we see Amul in Gujarat wherein white revolution has come in India that is a flood in the milk and milk products. Then we see that the Academy of Development Science has been developed in Maharashtra which has helped in making grain banks in various parts of Maharashtra and it gives training on the capacity building program on the food security for various NGOs. Well, this Academy of Development Science is a big and a very efficient program or a cooperative which has helped in food granaries in India, storing food grains in India. This was about your chapter food security in India. Thank you.